Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 with reference to biotransformation technology, consider the following statements. 1. This is a novel approach to ensure plastics that escape refusing streams are processed efficiently and broken down. Two plastics made using this technology are given a pre-programmed time during which the manufactured material looks and feels like conventional plastics without compromising on quality. 3. Once the product expires and is exposed to the external environment, it self-destructs and biotransforms into bioavailable wax. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 only. The answer is C. The tech was co-developed by the Imperial College in London, UK and a Britain-based startup, Polymateria. Plastics made using this technology are given a pre-programmed time during which the manufactured material looks and feels like conventional plastics without compromising on quality. Once the product expires and is exposed to the external environment, it self-destructs and biotransforms into bioavailable wax. This wax is then consumed by microorganisms, converting waste into water, CO2, and biomass. This biotransformation technology is the world's first that ensures polyolefins fully biodegrade in an open environment causing no microplastics. Question to consider the following statements about Aravli Green Wall Project. 1. It is part of the Union Environment Ministry's vision to create green corridors across the country to combat land degradation and desertification. 2. The project covers three states Haryana, Rajasthan, and Delhi where the Aravli Hills landscape span. 3. The project will also focus on agroforestry and pasture development to enhance the livelihoods of local communities. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 3 only. The answer is B. The project covers four states of Haryana, Rajasthan, Gujarat and Delhi where the Aravli Hills landscape span. The project will involve planting native species of trees and shrubs on scrubland, wasteland and degraded forest land, along with rejuvenating and restoring surface water bodies such as ponds, lakes and streams. Question 3 with reference to biofuels, consider the following statements. 1. Recently, government allows the export of biofuel from special economic zones export-oriented units which are allowed for fuel as well as non-fuel purposes without any restriction when produced using only imported feedstock. Two number license is required for the import of biofuels. Three biofuels include ethyl alcohol, petroleum oil, and oils obtained from bituminous minerals, biodiesel, and mixtures. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. One only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is B. A license is required for both exports and imports of biofuels. Question 4. Consider the following statements about nanofertilizers. 1. Nanofertilizers are a highly efficient type of fertilizers that provide nutrients like nitrogen to crops through fine granules. 2. Nanofertilizers exploit the nanoscale porous domains on plant surfaces to deliver nutrients. 3. Nanofertilizers are also said to cost less than subsidized conventional fertilizers, resulting in lower input costs for the farmers. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is C. Nitrogen is an essential macronutrient for plant functions. 
Urea is one of the most concentrated nitrogenous fertilizers, which readily converts to ammonia in the soil. Nano Urea Liquid was developed in 2020 to buy the biggest cooperative in the world, the Indian Farmers and Fertilizer Cooperative (IFFCO) to replace conventional urea and curtail its requirement by 50%. A 500 ml spray bottle can substitute a full 45 kg bag of urea. Question 5 with reference to atmospheric rivers, consider the following statements. 1 atmospheric rivers are relatively long, broad regions in the atmosphere like rivers in the sky that transport most of the water vapor outside of the tropics. Two express storms are the most commonly represented and recognized type of atmospheric rivers. Three when the atmospheric rivers make landfall, they often release this water vapor in the form of rain or snow. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. One and two only. B. One only. C. One, two and three. D. Two and three only. The answer is D. Atmospheric rivers are relatively long, narrow regions in the atmosphere like rivers in the sky that transport most of the water vapor outside of the tropics. Other names for this phenomenon are tropical plume, tropical connection, moisture plume, water vapor surge, and cloud band. Atmospheric rivers are a key feature in the global water cycle. and are closely tied to both water supply and flood risks particularly in the western united states while atmospheric rivers are responsible for great quantities of rain that can produce flooding they also contribute to beneficial increases in the snowpack question 6 with reference to the geomagnetic storm consider the following statements 1 am geomagnetic storm refers to the disruptions to the earth's magnetic field caused by solar emissions to the disturbance that drives the magnetic storm may be a solar coronal mass ejection cme or much less severely a corrotating interaction region cir a high speed stream of solar wind originating from a coronal hole three the frequency of geomagnetic storms is not affected by the sunspot cycle which of the following given above is our correct a 1 and 2 only b 1 and 3 only c 1 2 and 3 d 2 only the answer is a the frequency of geomagnetic storms increases and decreases with the sunspot cycle during solar maximum geomagnetic storms occur more often with the majority driven by cmes when a coronal mass ejection cme or a high speed solar stream reaches our planet it slams into the magnetosphere the earth's magnetosphere is created by our magnetic fields and it usually protects us from the particles emitted by the sun when a cme or a high speed stream arrives at earth it peels open the planet's magnetosphere kind of like an onion this allows energetic solar wind particles to stream down and hit our atmosphere over the poles solar weather events like this can also supercharge auroras sometimes making them visible in places where they wouldn't have been otherwise solar weather events like this can also supercharge auroras sometimes making them visible in places where they wouldn't have been otherwise Question 7 consider the following statements about earth r 1 this is a worldwide movement organized by the world wildlife fund wwf to the event is held annually encouraging individuals communities and businesses to turn off non essential electric lights for 1 hour from 8:30 to 9:30 pm usually on the last sunday of march as a symbol of commitment to the planet 3 it was started as a lights off event in sydney australia in 2007 which of the following given above is our correct a 1 and 2 only b 1 and 3 only c 1 2 and 3 d 2 only 
The answer is B. The event is held annually, encouraging individuals, communities and businesses to turn off non-essential electric lights for one hour from 8.30 to 9.30 p.m., usually on the last Saturday of March, as a symbol of commitment to the planet. Question 8 with reference to afforestation, consider the following statements. 1. Afforestation is part of India's climate pledges. The government has committed to adding an additional, cumulative, carbon sink of 2.5-3 GTCO2E through additional forest and tree cover by 2030. 2. Afforestation is also codified in the Compensatory Afforestation Fund Management and Planning Authority, CAMPA, a body created on the Supreme Court's orders in 2002, chaired by the Chief Justice of India. 3. According to the Forest Conservation Act 1980, the project proponent that wishes to divert the land must identify land elsewhere to afforest and pay the land value for the afforestation exercise. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is B. Afforestation is also codified in the Compensatory Afforestation Fund Management and Planning Authority, CAMPA, a body created on the Supreme Court's orders in 2002, chaired by the Environment Minister. According to the Environment Ministry, CAMPA is meant to promote afforestation and regeneration activities as a way of compensating for forest land diverted to non-forest uses. Thank you, everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.